Well, hi, SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Chances are, you may have seen a video which depicts a broadcast glitch on an episode of Spongebob. The episode Your Shoes Untied can be seen not being broadcasted as it usually is with lots of stuttering, skipping, and repeating the same parts. However, there seems to be several videos on YouTube that claim to show the real footage of this broadcasting glitch. Today, we're going to explain this story and answer the age-old question, is it real or is this just another phony fake? Let's dive in. The very first July 25th, 2005 video on YouTube is from a user named Nice and Cool, and the video was uploaded on July 6th, 2020. The video shown here doesn't seem too realistic at all, and definitely doesn't look like a Nickelodeon broadcast from 2005. It more seems like this user just added a bunch of filters to the video, static effects, and called it a day. <laughs> a few days later, Nice and Cool would upload a sequel to the first video, which only further proves my point that these specific videos are just not real at all. This is definitely just an edited version of Your Shoes Untied, with a few filters and squeeze into the little TV JPEG they have here. This video actually shows more to this broadcasting glitch than the Your Shoes Untied part, as we get to see a broadcasting glitch of Gary Takes a Bath, with a frame of Spongebob flashing before the screen just goes black. It turns out that both of these videos are all part of a special Spongebob ARG, and they should be treated as that rather than just a simple fake Spongebob video. Now, another interesting thing about this is that Nice and Cool actually commented on this video saying, someone wrote a creepypasta about this video. So how about we take a look at the creepypasta itself, shall we? So on the Trollpasta wiki, as one of the top results when searching for 725-2005, there is a story simply called 7-25-2005, just like the videos. Now, I'm going to read the full story to you guys, but I'm also going to include the images that they actually included with this story so that you guys don't get too bored, all right? Ready? Here we go. On the night of July 25th, 2005, Nickelodeon experienced a mysterious and unexplainable glitch during the airing of one of the episodes of SpongeBob SquarePants. This strange glitch caused a specific SpongeBob episode to glitch out and morph in strange ways. A few lucky people were able to catch a glimpse of the episode, and some clips of the episode made it onto YouTube, making this occurrence known to the public. I myself am one of the people that witnessed the incident. I was chilling at home one night scrolling through channels on the remote and found that an episode of Spongebob was airing. Nick, they forgot to put the on. <laughs> I was bored at the time because I didn't know what to do that would keep me entertained, so I decided to watch it. The episode that was on was Your Shoes Untied and Gary Takes a Bath, though I believed I missed a part of the episode. I continued watching, but I noticed something odd. When Patrick said, hey Spongebob, Spongebob wouldn't move. He wouldn't even reply. He just stood there as the camera zoomed into his body. Patrick was confused at this. Spongebob? He asked, but Spongebob didn't reply. He just stood there staring at the screen as the camera zoomed in on him. Then Spongebob got up for a split second twice, which made it look like he was gasping for air. He continued to stay on Spongebob's body until cutting to static after a few minutes. Now, I've seen this episode a million times, but this wasn't it. It cut to Spongebob laying on the floor, but now he's at the Krusty Krab in the kitchen. A few seconds later, I cut to Spongebob's body in a black room, floating in the air in a different direction but in the same pose. Then it immediately cut to Spongebob and Gary sitting in a huge shoe while Gary slightly moved up and down while a weird distorted music track played. What the heck is going on? I mumbled to myself. After a few more seconds, it cut to static for a few seconds and then just went to black. After a minute of nothing but a black screen, the episode Gary Takes a Bath started playing. The episode started out pretty normal, but halfway through the episode, there was a split second scene of Spongebob in a distorted visual with Gary. They were just staring at the screen, smiling creepily. It then cut to static. I was confused if this was even the real episode or just some glitch. I tried shutting it off and turning it back on, but the episode stayed the same. I decided to just turn off the TV and went to bed. The next morning, I went and turned on the TV and saw that everything was back to normal. To this day, I still have so many questions about this drug drip of an episode. Was I having a bad dream? Was the TV hijacked? To this day, I still don't know what the heck was going on at the time. It's been a couple years since the incident, and I still don't have any answers, even after searching through the internet for hours on end. To this day, no one knows how this incident occurred or who or what caused it, but I am determined to find this out for myself. One of these days, the mystery will be solved. So yeah, that was the full story. <laughs> pretty, pretty interesting. Now, this story, from what I could tell, actually seems pretty believable. Like. 
it's simply just a story about a spongebob episode glitching live on air which is very common to happen with anything on tv there's no lost episode with hyper realistic eyes and dark themes that kids would not be allowed to watch it's just a broadcasting glitch this story led to many different remakes to suddenly appear on youtube in 2021 which claimed that they have the real footage of july 25th 2005. This phenomenon would even go viral on TikTok with many people sharing the creepy videos and giving their thoughts on the matter. All right guys, let's talk about 7-25-2005 and what happened on that day. A SpongeBob episode aired that day and actually glitched out and caused static all over the TV and freeze frames to happen. These freeze frames weren't really normal though. A lot of them were really creepy and freaked a lot of kids out. For example, the one behind me. Now here's the weird part, if you go to any of the comments on some of these remake videos on YouTube, you can actually see a bunch of people who claim they saw this happen the night it occurred. One comment reads, I remember seeing this, scared for me was an understatement, I was beyond that. Another comment reads, yo I remember seeing this back in 2005, honestly I thought it was some kind of hijacking, when I saw it, it seemed too real. One more comment reads, I remember this, I honestly thought I was dreaming. So with all this you're probably wondering, well is this whole thing even real? Well, let's talk about it. Now, there are many issues with this. First of all, the origins of this phenomenon wasn't even real in the first place, it was just some ARG for people to play. First instance of like this whole phenomenon on YouTube was literally like Nice and Cool's video, which was all just an ARG and not even real in the first place. Second off, and probably the most convincing, why has this incident only just now started getting notoriety on the internet? This is 2005 we're talking about, don't you think some news outlets, parents online would go online and ask about this? I can't seem to find anything from July 25th, 2005 that isn't just a bunch of video remakes or word of mouth. There's also the fact that all these videos that claim to be real are all very different. You could make the argument that this wasn't caught on tape, so everyone just made a bunch of videos to see what they think it would have looked like, but at the same time, it's very weird how all these just claim to be the real footage and not faked, or a reimagining of what happened. It also states in the creepypasta that this happened at night, but when you search for the Nickelodeon airings for July 25th, 2005, Spongebob is on there, but nowhere to be seen at night. Spongebob was airing at 8pm, but it seems a bit too early to claim to be late at night, considering the author said that they went to bed shortly after the incident happened, and I don't think they go to bed that early. They also never mentioned the region this happened in, so if this didn't happen in like the United States, then where did it happen? All of this just tells me that I think, unfortunately, this phenomenon is 100% FAKE. Now don't get me wrong, this story is actually pretty good and very believable. Like, I like how there's no dumb cliches like the bloodshot eyes or death. It's just a broadcast glitch of an episode on Spongebob TV, which is a very realistic situation to happen and you know similar things have happened before just the idea of watching spongebob at night and this happening is honestly really unsettling and creepy and i i get why this would scare someone especially at a young age overall this is a pretty good creepy pasta and a very believable one at that and i suggest you check out some of the july 25th 2005 remakes that do an amazing job at replicating the exact details i might rank them in the future for a ranking video but we'll see Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like and subscribe for more. I just wanted to make this video because I found out about this um, creepypasta like last week. And it was really confusing, like understanding the story behind it. But uh, I wanted to make a video about it because I find it really interesting. And like the idea of this happening is honestly really interesting to think about. So yeah, so I'm going to be working on ranking every Max and Ruby 0004 remake soon. So keep your eyes peeled for that. The support on the channel lately has been absolutely insane i'd like to thank you guys for supporting these videos as i spend a lot of time making them and i really enjoy making them anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys later peace